Hi guys, this is Busfids Mank here and welcome back to another model bus review on my channel. Now today I will be taking a look at this Blue Star Scania Omnidecker East Lanx number 1004. This was released in May 2021 alongside the other variant of this model which is Britbus ES17A as Britbus model ES17B. This one uh, specifically has Southampton as the final destination on the number 4 route, whilst the other one, ES17A, had Romsey as the final destination. So yeah, there were two specific variants of this model by Britbus, and yeah. This is my first and so far only uh, Blue Star model. There's only a few of them out there. I think there's a couple of MMCs, there's um, a couple made by Corgi, there's a couple made by uh, Creative Master Northcord as well, one of which includes the Scamnia Omnicity, which is, well, despite being a lot more produced than this one, is certainly a lot rarer now. And yeah, this is of course my first and so far only Scamnia Omnideca bus, and I've d I also uh, got I uh, I got this in uh, York as well alongside the MMC First Glasgow bus which you can of course, which is of course my previous review if you haven't watched that already go and check it out after this one I got this in the uh, Monk Bar model shop in York um, and yeah this was rather exciting to find actually because the day before I actually got this I got the MMC and I didn't actually see this in the shelves and originally my target was to get the Stagecoach London MMC but then I saw this in the shelves and I was like. I have to get this because it looks amazing. It is also a, quite a rare model, at least in terms of uh, how many have been produced, because in terms of price, they've almost gone down on eBay, actually, which is a bit of a surprise for a... Uh, well, this specific variant only has 200 um, produced, while the other one also has 200, so in total it is 400 altogether. But still, it's not really that rare, to be honest. But anyway, let's have a look at the box design. And I must admit, I really like this box design. I love the fact you've got like little um, blue star stuff on it. So obviously you have the logo down there with some of the uh, stars. And as well as up there with the big star and the slogan shining across your city. I really like the blue star um, fonts. Actually. I think it looks really nice. If you turn it around to this side, of course, like with all the Britbus boxes, you get like a clear shot of the front of the model. We turn it round to the back and of course it's got the usual stuff like of course warning um of course you've got who manufactured it which is obviously Britbus limited in hong kong made in china and scale 176 we turn it around to the other side and of course you get the back of the model there in clear view and if we put it to the top as you can see the big red Britbus logo but before we get into the model itself, let's have a look at the certificate because you do actually get one with this model, which is pretty cool. And as you can see on this um, one here, you have the an outline of the bus that you are about to get. And this does, of course, have Southampton on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's actually quite a, a nice design for the front of it. And on the back, of course, you have got uh, ES17B, the name of this model, the Britbus logo. You also get this cool... Um, root uh, thing here with four to southampton via lord shill and shirley that is awesome of course this is limited edition number 164 of only 200 produced so yeah this is technically the rarest model in my collection although if you look at the prices on ebay it doesn't really feel like it but still here's what it is and then of course this bus has been commissioned by chris cotton is i don't know who he is he's got he's one of the major players in um model buses i have seen um, him talk about uh releases by corgi and britbus in the past so i presume he's like one of the heads or something I'm, I'm not too sure about him you can let me know about him in the comments and what he does but anyway enough of the certificate let's get the model out of its box for a closer look there we go the model is out for us to see in all its glory now, of course, I've decided to do this because obviously we want to have a clear shot of all of the model. And obviously the Britbus ones, you can definitely tell them supposed to be more of a outside the box than inside the box. Since, you know, they don't have the the uh, bottom um, hold things like Creative uh, Master North Cord and North Cord do. But anyway, let's have a look at this glorious uh, Omnidecker. I really like this model, actually. I quite deny. I must admit as well, I really like the Blue Star models. I think they look pretty cool. Like, again, they're not exactly like 
my favourite buses in the whole world. But for what they are, they are fantastic buses. And obviously the other models are pretty nice as well. But I don't think I'm going to be getting them any time soon. But anyway, let's have a look at the model we do have, which is, of course, this Omnidecker. Now, on the front, I mean, it is basically in the standard blue star livery. So, of course, you have the lovely blue star logo at the bottom with the fleet number. And then at the top, of course, you've got that route number four to Southampton via Lord Chill and Shirley, as you saw on the certificate. Of course, the front of it, again, is a standard... Omnidecker, it looks pretty cool. I like the Omnidecker, I must admit. They are pretty nice buses. Um, they are cool models as well. I think you can actually turn the wheel, but I'm not going to try it because I, I don't really want to. But I'm pretty sure uh, people have told me you can turn the wheel. So it's almost like you, if you actually take pictures of it, it actually looks like it's turning. So that's pretty cool. And then on this side, you've got more of this lovely uh, blue star livery here with, of course, the logo and the slogan shining across your city, just like on the box. But apart from that, it is in a sort of blue that, to be honest, wouldn't look out of place if you had Magic Bus on it. Um, of course, you've got 1004 there just above the wheel as well. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty clean side. Again, I like the blue style livery. It looks pretty cool on uh, these buses. But I must admit, my favourite part of the model is the back. I genuinely really like the back of it. Like, I think the back of it looks so cool. I do like the fact you can see all of the uh, the route there as well, from Ford to Southampton via Lord John Shirley. You've got bluestarbus.co.uk on the window, which is quite cool. You have Blue Star shining across your city there, and of course, fleet number 1004. I don't know if you can actually uh, take, you know, actually open up the engine cover. Uh, I, I don't think you can. I'm not going to try it because I don't want to try. I don't want to risk uh, breaking the model. But if you do have it and it does do that, let me know. I might even try it one day. Um, but yeah, if we if we look to the other side, again, it is basically the same with the blue star logo and shining across your city in this really nice sleek blue design. I think this model looks great. It's not one of my favourites, again, but the Blue Star models are very, very nice, and they've got lovely liveries. It does give me... It's a bit weird, but it does give me a sort of milky bar vibe in a way. I don't know why. It's a bit weird. I know. I am I'm a bit weird, but I don't know. It just it just kind of gives me that vibe for some reason. I think it looks really, really nice. I just, I, I just love it. I think the stars look really nice as well. They go really well with the Blue Star logo. Again, the blue looks really nice. Again, I mean, if this had Magic Bus on it, again, it, it would look absolutely incredible. I don't know Blue Star that well. Uh, I'm sure some of you lot from uh, Southampton especially will know quite a lot about them. So, um, yeah, you. I mean, if you want to give me a bit of a history lesson on them, then please feel free to do so in the comments below. But I do know they are like the major runners in Southampton though. So uh, yeah, that's like one of the only things I know about them to be honest. But this model is great. It's a very, very nice model. Um, the Omni Deckers are pretty cool models in general. I think with the blue style livery on it, it looks cool. It's probably one of the better ones in my opinion. I think the livery really fits this bus in general. And yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty nice. You know, it's a, it's a nice model. You know, uh, plenty to like about it. If you're a Blue Star fan and you haven't got this yet, highly recommend it again because, I mean, to be fair, the prices aren't that bad for eBay. I mean, I think you can still get it for about 50, 60 quid. So to be fair, for a bus that only 200 um, have been produced of technically, like, that's not a bad price on eBay. I'll tell you that for certain. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to tell me down in the comments below what you think of this model. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Feel free to let me know. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like and, of course, subscribe if you are new to the channel for more content like this. As I said, I'll be doing a, uh, another review tomorrow and hopefully on Wednesday before I go to Oldham or Trafford on Thursday. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time, bye-bye.